Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chat Lee and if you are a new subscriber, you are welcome. Welcome to the family and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome all the same. So first of all, I just want to say that in case you hear any noise in the background, I'm so sorry guys, I can't do anything about it. Uh, I've been procrastinating, um, like, um, up, like shooting this video and uploading it and I, I just had to do it. Um, because I feel that this is something that is very important and it can help someone out there As you all know guys, Uganda is facing or if you don't know um, Uganda is facing its second wave of COVID and we went into lockdown like total lockdown And even before that lockdown you guys I had I got COVID Yeah, I did I got COVID and it's so funny because majority of the time it's so easy for you to be like oh it's not going to affect me uh, i'm not going to get it no it's not going to affect me and all that and for me um my symptoms didn't really come the way i had read about it or what i knew like how i expected the symptoms to come um because it was um weird very weird for me so basically what happened was that um i went over to see a friend um so i spent i stayed over at her place and um while i was at her place i got fever like i had like a very bad fever and it was really close to my period and i usually fall like have those symptoms close to my period so all those while i was like oh it's just my period uh, it lasted for about i would say like three days i had fever for three days and then it came with like body aches and all that meanwhile i could smell i could eat i could do every other thing like every like honestly speaking the last thing on my mind was that i had covid one because like i was like um i hardly go out i'm always around my people secondly um I don't know like you know you just in your head you just don't you think you're taking all the right precautions you put you have your mask i have sanitizers everywhere everywhere i have in my bag i have in my room like i have one in the bathroom i have one in just around like where i keep my my cosmetics and all that i ha i i move everywhere with hand sanitizer i have my mask and all that so you don't expect to be in a situation whereby you would Find, like you don't expect to find yourself in a situation whereby you'll be like oh maybe maybe this this is covid so i was with her and i think it was like after the like a day before i was going coming back to my place because i think i was i was over at her place for like two four days that was when i started experiencing like cough and all that and um when that happened i was like okay um still my head was not registering i think i just i was just finding it hard to believe that i could ever be in a situation in that kind of situation so like there was in like i had i was not even that was like the last thing in my head like that it was covid and all that so i got back the next day and then when i got back the next day i was telling my friend about how because i started i had started my period i'm sorry this is a bit if you're not into things like that, I just want to come out and be honest about my symptoms and how everything started. So, um, I I was even telling him, I'm like, hey, I had a lot. I came back and I was telling my friend here, I'm like, hey, I had like really bad fever, like really, really bad fever and all that. Then I did how, but I just got my period. So I'm thinking that's what happened. And we just agreed and everything went. I went to bed, guys, and then I woke up the next day and then when i woke up the next day i couldn't smell anything like at all like i couldn't smell anything like i went i i you know how sanitizers are like the smell is very strong and i opened it and i tried smelling it and i couldn't smell anything at all and like that was when the realization came to me because my how my symptoms started was like i had the fever and then Sorry about that guys, I got a call. So as I was saying, um, I had I had fever for like about three days. And then like, after I, I had fever, then um, I started having, I had fever for like 
the first two days then the second day it came with like um the third day it came with like really bad um body ache like really really bad body ache like it was so bad and i don't take painkillers so i was someone that like i had to take painkillers i was like whoa because it was really bad i had to i had to tell my friend that i need painkillers like i just really needed it and then i noticed that after I take the painkillers, I started to sweat profusely. And I, I'm someone that don't sweat. Like, I don't sweat at all. But then I was like, okay. And then whenever I'm about to fall sick, those are usually the exact signs, I'm, signs and symptoms I get. So I was like, okay. Um, did I overstress myself? Did I do it? Because throughout my last semester... I have been having like really bad like i would fall sick i'll go to the school clinic and i'll get medication and come back like it just kept going on and on and then they had they kept telling me oh you are overstressing yourself you have to like relax and you have to try to like reduce all the things you are doing and all that so i was like mm, is it is this like the after effect of all the stress i put myself through last semester okay for me that was like my reasoning because that was just immediately after um the semester ended so i was like mm, that's probably the reason why this is happening it's because i overstressed myself and then now like i'm having the after effect like i'm feeling the after effect of that stress no it wasn't it was covid so um like i said not until i came back to my friends i came back to my my place and then like i slept oh yes yeah. so the cough was just like you would like just normal cough and all that and still my mind wasn't registering that it was covid so when i went to bed the next day i i couldn't even sleep that night like i couldn't sleep that night and um because i couldn't breathe like my nose was stuffed like i couldn't breathe so i slept that day um seated on my bed like from that day to like in the morning i slept seated like i couldn't um i couldn't uh, lie down because if i lay down my nose was like so stuffy i couldn't even breathe at all so i was like what is happening like i i, it's, I started having like really bad headaches and that was like all those things just started that night like they, it just came at once i started having headaches and i started having sore throats i think that was around the time that i started asking myself hmm okay i'm seeing those signs and symptoms and i'm like nah you know when you're in there i'm like no i don't have covid i don't know anyone around me that has covid where can i where could i possibly get it from so i was like nah i don't think it's covid um but then I slept and then when I woke up the next day, like I said, when I woke up the next day, you guys, I couldn't smell anything. Like I couldn't smell anything. And like that was when it dawned on me that the, like I was so sure. I was like, this is COVID. I was so sure and I was like, this is COVID. So I sent my mom a message and I'm like, mommy, pray for me. I'm pretty sure I have COVID. And if you know african parent. like if you know nigerian parents she was like god forbid you don't have that i reject that for you in jesus name what 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 and then um by the time i stepped out i was fully masked and all that i because i needed to get something to eat um i went to get what to eat and then i got back and i tried eating it and i couldn't taste anything like at all like i lost all my sense of my my sense of smell and taste and then like, I sent her a message and I'm like I am pretty sure I have COVID I don't know how or how I don't know how it's happened but I am I am sure I have COVID and like she freaked out over us and she was like how are you doing what's happening what's going on and I told her uh, I don't know because like it was really a mixed emotion for me like I didn't know what to expect and then it, I was really scared because I don't have any family here in Uganda like I mean like blood family and I'm like if this thing should become so serious, I don't want to be in a situation whereby I am self-isolated and like, because of course you can't have anyone around you. Like, I don't want to have to go through that on my own. So I went to the nearest health center and I took a test and they were like, yes, you are positive. And um, once I found, I found once like that was just a confirmation so i sent my mom a message i'm like 
Okay, they just sent me a message and they told me they are pretty sure I'm um, like they just sent like they just um, my results just came out came back and they just confirmed that I'm actually positive. And then I sent my sister a message also and then I told her and she freaked out because she's a drama queen. So she freaked out about that and then I told her, Okay, I don't think it's going to be it's that bad. Um, because if it was going to be really bad, I think I would have been able to I would have been I would have had those like it would have been bad from the get go from the beginning. Like it would have been bad from the beginning. But since like it's something I think it's something like because that's what they even told me they were like it's something that is manageable. So um they prescribed the medication that I was supposed to take that's azithromycin, zinc and then also the vitamins. And so I got all that and then I came back home and um started self-isolating and also self-medicating myself because literally that was the only thing i needed to do and then i went through all the process and i think like truly speaking um throughout everything that happened i would say that that was even that wasn't even the worst part for me it wasn't even the signs and symptoms and i understand how lucky i am because i know that for some it has been like very severe and for me it was something that was so manageable I think for me, what was more more um, frustrating and even like, I think what it, it was the, the isolation, the fact that I couldn't have any human contact, the fact that I couldn't be with anyone towards that period I was isolating was just really, really like, I don't know, it's, I think it's even made me more sick. And um, also, I was so weak. I was so weak and this this lasted even after covid like i didn't know that you could have like after effect of covid um until i read about it and then they were like fatigue is part of the side effects of after effects of covid because i would like places that i would usually walk to i couldn't like i would pants when I'm working, I would have to take a break and sit somewhere and wait before I continue going. And I'm not talking about going like so far, like just going to maybe like, like just, you know, places like going to go and buy things and all that, like, you know, it's not so far. And I couldn't even walk. And like, I was always tired. I remember there was a time that I was in bed and I just started crying because I would sleep. I slept for like around 12 hours and then I woke up and then. After waking up, I discovered that um, I was still tired. Like, I couldn't even stand up and go to the bathroom. I, like, I needed to go and have my bath. And I couldn't even stand up to go to the bathroom to do that. And it's 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 really lonely, you know? Because, like, uh, normally when someone is sick, in, like, sick, that's not apart from COVID. Like, at least you have friends, you have family that can help you do things that you can't do. But this time, because you're trying to protect people, from getting what you have you have to do everything on your own and it was just really frustrating and very lonely because like like i would i would literally cry because of how lonely i felt like there was no one at home there was no one like my mom wasn't like i really wanted my mom i remember i was crying and i was like i i i, I want my mom like i was like i want my mom but like I, even if even if she was here the reality of the matter is like she she wouldn't have been able to help me because i was self i was isolating so that all in all just made everything really frustrating for me it was the fatigue guys like it was really really bad like really bad like i don't even know then also i also experienced um my my skin was peeling i have i don't know if it, it had anything to do with the covid or Maybe it was just because, I, like I said, it happened around my period, but I, my skin was really peeling. Like, I'm still having, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm still having, like, my skin peeling around this area. And whew, it was scary at first, but um, now it's getting better. Then also, um, I, I'm sorry to any guy that might find this irritating, but I just wanted to, I don't know if it happened. I It has never happened. I've always been someone that has that has like heavy flow but i have it has never been that bad so towards that period that um that time i was having covid like i said i had my period you guys my period lasted for seven days 
and it was so heavy it was so heavy like i had to keep changing pad every three hours i used a total of three packs that and it has never happened before usually i use like maybe two and a half one and a half sorry because i have really heavy flow and I, I need to keep changing my pad but this time like i had to i literally had to put an alarm every three hours so that i can go and change and imagine being so weak like so weak feeling so exhausted and having to wake up from bed every three hours to go to the bathroom to change wash yourself clean yourself and do all that and then come back to bed like it was really frustrating and like honestly speaking you guys like i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy and like i said earlier i understand that i am the lucky one because i i, I i'm 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 doing like um my bachelor's in nursing science so i understand that a lot of people are not as fortunate as i am yes being be be it as i have um i got covid and maybe to you it might not be like oh it's um she's fortunate but the fact that i was able to manage like um to to help to to do all those things to take care of myself during that period there are people that couldn't breathe without like um um aid there are people that like that lost loved ones there are people that lost their lives because of covid and i'm here and i can even like i'm fortunate enough to be here to give you guys my my story and, and share my experiences with you guys so yeah guys like i just wanted to let you know um it's really bad and covid is real because i still hear people saying covid is not real and i and truly it's really frustrating and irritating to find someone saying something like that and they're like it's just common flu no it's not just common flu common flu does not that's not how common flu is and um and it's really ignorant because you give people that idea and you make people become very careless with their um their lives and honestly speaking if someone should lose their life because of the advice you give honestly speaking i would blame it on you like that person's life will be on your head because why why would you say something like that so uh, i'm just i'm just grateful to god that i am I, uh, I'm alive and I'm able to share my experiences with you guys and I also want to say like don't be in denial and don't be scared um, About it like if you feel you're having those signs and symptoms Just go to the nearest health center and try and get yourself checked because honestly speaking Imagine if I was just being careless with it and I was still in denial Imagine the people around me that I would have infected and I don't know. I don't think I can live with the guilt of knowing um that I, I i got someone infected and also just because my my situation was different doesn't mean another person's situation can be different I, I might have put someone in a like worse situation and even even i like imagine the guilt i felt knowing that um all that period of time that i was that i had covid that i didn't realize i had covid I was in contact with people like i felt so guilty about it like so so guilty about it so like you guys please just make sure you um you wear your mask make sure that you have your hand sanitizers and keep the social distancing during this lockdown just make sure that you do the right thing honestly speaking let's help people live let's help people live um because not everyone can will be as privileged as i am to be able to go through it and survive and be able to tell the story so and a lot of people are having covid guys a lot someone was saying something that now it's hitting close to home because like now it's not like hearing that someone has now it's like his sister it's a brother it's a friend so we should just try and because like the only way this thing can end is if we work together so yeah guys this is that's my story i just wanted to come up here and just let you know guys that's mainly one of the reasons why i've been off on youtube it was because i was trying to deal with that and also the after effect like i said because like i got myself about like two weeks after um i was covid free that was when i fully got myself like i was okay so yeah guys that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe like i said if you find this video interesting and also press on the notification bell just so you get notified every time i upload a new video thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye